is our mum regatta. We do this every year where we have chrysanthemums for oh, everybody. So I was joking with Andrew, who's here with his, with his mom. His mom's going to go home as a hero because he gets a flower he can give to mom, and mom gets a flower too because they're both racing today. So it's always good when we do this. This is one of our fall classics. Um, we had 21 boats today, which, is, which was a great showing. Uh, and we'll start from the bottom up, because everybody wins a, wins a prize here. Uh, Dominico is in his second uh, day of sailing, actually, with the, with, with the fish, and he uh, struggled out there, uh, but in 21's first, 21, uh, 21st place, Dominico. I don't know if he's here or he, or he or left, so he can pick up his flower next week. But And then uh, in 20th, we had Amelia Tebbins. I think Amelia's here. Yes? No? No. <laughs> okay. Um, and then 19th with the 17, 15, 15, and 16 was Andrew Padden. So Andrew, come on up and get that flower for Mom. You can take any of these smaller flowers here. Well, they're all big. Well, whatever color that I think Mom might like. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so doing badly. All right, badly. Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Doing badly so, in this regard, I get to see the better flower. And then, uh, one point ahead of her son, <laughs> Karen, come on up and get a flower. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Okay. I have to say, I have to thank... Uh, um, Gabrielson's greenhouse is out on down in the North Fork. Walter Gabrielson has provided us with flowers almost every year. So if you're out on the North Fork and you want to see Walt, uh, I was out there. Walt's now 72 and enjoying his garden and his greenhouses, and he does a beautiful job. So we were able to pick up the flowers from Walter there, and they're on the North Fork out in South Pole. Okay, in 17th place, and she. Promised she'd stay, a uh, lady whose name I was having a hard time pronouncing last last year, but out of Matatuck Yacht Club, uh, with 102 points, was Laura Van Gopalin. With, uh, and she was in 17th. I don't know if Laura had to split because her daughter's got to do homework. So maybe they did exit. Uh, and I was told that in, in advance, uh, Laura had... 102 points, two points ahead of Karen, and who was one point ahead of her son. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then uh, this, the the senior statesman of our uh, regatta today, and a lot of people think it's Jim with the old gray beard, you know, but it wasn't me. Our uh, senior member, uh, who made it a lot easier for for people like myself. Um, not getting out to the first race on time was Chris Garvey. And Chris, here's Chris, all right. Congratulations, Chris. A couple of old timers. Flower. All right. So Chris had a, had a 27, a 16, a 12, a 15, a 15, and a 14. And I saw you mixing up with every everybody. And then in 15th place, she had a breakdown or something happened in race two, but some good consistent mid-race fleet uh, scores was Anjale Vanagopalan, and she had 74 points. Anjale and Mom, she's the responsible daughter who said, I have to get home and do my homework. <laughs> so I'm glad that, uh, that uh, you guys can hear this uh, little message from her. You know, got to make sure to get that homework done. <laughs> okay, and then um, in 14th place, one point ahead of Angela was Michael Cancellari. So Michael, come on up. I, I, Scott and Michael. Oh, so Scott's here. Okay, that's right. Okay, so Scott. Oh, you should brother. So, well, he's, he's appreciative of you getting all those good scores for him. <laughs> good sailing, Scott. Okay. There's a, there's a flower for you. So Scott had 74 yes, points with a, a 14, a 12, an 18, an 8, 9, and 12. So good, so good scoring. 
just four points ahead uh, in 13th place with 69 points, a 10, 11, a 13, a 13, a 14, and an 8 was Mike, was uh, Brett, Brett Lenahan, and Brett, I saw you out there. Okay, mate. Good, good, good sailing. Okay. Got a nice flower bomb. Brett's bomb is here, so. All right. What do you say? All right, a big yellow one. Well, no, no. He's going for a different yellow one. Okay. And then, uh, sale number 54. Uh, I give Miles a lot of credit because basically he's, him and dad wanted to get a boat, mom and dad wanted to get a boat for this year, and so they, they're they cobbling together a, an old sunfish that's like 45 years old, and it doesn't matter uh, because he's got all the parts that he needs to, to be able to get out there and, and, and enjoy the fun. With 68 points, one point ahead of Brett, a 13, a 10, a 11, a 10, 11, and a 13 was Miles Diekman. Miles, Miles, all right, Miles, yeah. And Miles didn't have to do any 911 rescues today. No. Man, phase. A few, a few weeks ago, he was out uh, swimming after an opti to help him come in. So, nice job, Miles. Okay, Miles uh, was uh, actually lost the tiebreaker with uh, last year's second place overall finisher from Douglaston Yacht Squadron, Nadir Gafar. Nadir! Yay! Congratulations. You won a nice flower. So Nadir had an 11, an 8, a 17, an 11, a 10, and an 11. Good sailing. Good job. And then uh, Ryan Messina had to deliver his boat to Dad, and uh, so Ryan Ryan got the day started with a one one one, and then twenty one twenty one twenty one. So Ryan wound up in tenth. Ryan's Ryan's gone, uh, but I've, I've known Ryan, and he's a he, he's a, he's a great great guy to have in the, in, the, in the fleet. Uh, in ninth place with 63 points, uh, Dylan Williams. Dylan, come on up. All right. Good sailing, Dylan. Okay. Yeah, Dylan. Yeah. yeah. All, right. yeah. All right. So uh, Dylan, Dylan survived uh, the the hiking strap coming loose or something like that, uh, but. Uh, Dylan had a, a 12, a 13, an 8, a 5, a 4, and then um, just it was a little rough. Dad, Dad mentioned, well, Dylan, maybe you should wear, wear shoes. <laughs> so um, without the hiking strap, sailing the sunfish is a little, a little, little tough. And then in 8th place with 54 points, guy who always brings joy to the, uh, to the, to the fleet, with a five, six, a sixteen, a fourteen, a six, and a seven, so good, good scoring with a couple of hiccups in the middle was uh, Chris Costa. Quiz, yeah, Chris. Chris. Yeah. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> All right, Chris. Now, now, Chris is uh, Chris is in eighth place with fifty-four points. Johnny, Johnny, where are you, Johnny? Yeah, hey, Johnny. <laughs> And uh, it's always good to have you in the fleet, John. So good, so good sailing. John had an eight, an OCS in race two. Oh, yeah. So an eight, an OCS, a two, a four, a seven, and a two. On course side. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, we had, uh, in 49 points, we had Don't Megan. Megan had a 7, 7, 9, 9, 8, 9. Okay, yeah. Megan. Megan. All right. Megan's grabbing a flower. Anything you want to share with us, Megan? 
I always had breeze today. It was gusty. Yeah. yeah. So Megan's using the adjustable halyard, which works out good. We have to get a little tight. Megan had 49 points. And in fifth, top five, was Mackenzie Klein. All right. Mackenzie, good sailing. Okay. I know I am. Flower. Last year's full series champion, and he was uh, sailing really well today. Uh, Liam Flanagan with 28 points. Liam! Liam! Yeah, Liam! Okay, Liam. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> Liam smiles. What do you want, Bob? <laughs> All right, nice going, Liam. So, so Liam, Liam uh, again had a three, five, seven, six, three, four, and then Liam had 28 points, and in the third place, sailing number 77 from Amityville High School with a four, a four, a three, a three, a five, and a six. So a variation of three points over the whole day. Really wow. good, consistent scoring. Randy Rodriguez! <laughs> Good going, Randy! So the big one. And I had a really uh, fun time because in the last race, Keelan had uh, sailed a really good leeward, leeward leg. Here's Keelan. And uh, Keelan had sailed a really good leeward leg. And I asked her if I had an overlap. And she said yes. And I had already started to peel off. I mentioned to Dad. Had already started to peel off to make the wide rounding, and so I was able to make a make a good rounding. And Johnny made a a really tight rounding and wound up falling off. And I was able to get myself in a good spot to win the last race, but not today. Today's mum champion, Kaylin Brink. Yeah. Yeah. So no, one of these one of these big ones. Any of the big ones. She comes by winning races legitimately. So the Brinks and the Baldwins, Crockers, all good and fast, and, and we love the sport of sailing. And it was beautiful sailing with you today. Nice sailing, Keelan. Okay.